Hi, today I'm going to make two classic cocktail, one which is the daiquiri and the other one which is the mojito. They were both created and born in Havana in Cuba. And many of you have asked and requested this cocktail to me and because we are home they're very very simple drink to be made, virtually three ingredients. Okay, so I have grown a little bit of a beer, if you could see, right? So I'm going to pretend to be the earnest anyway on those days in the 30, walking to uh, two of his favorite bar and drinking two of his favorite cocktail. So I'm going to be first a la Floridita, right? Sitting at the bar and ask for a daiquiri. So how are we going to make the daiquiri? Again, I'm going to pick up a lime. Before I'm going to use this lime, there is a two way to, if you want to extract the juice of this lime, it is put it in a hot water, or not boiling water, but quite warm water, and just leave it there for 10 minutes. That will make the lime a little bit softer, so the juice will come out easier. Or the other one, which they used to do in those days, in the 30s, by Costantino, is roll it. So by rolling it, what you do, you you take away the you know you split almost the, the the juice from the skin. There you go. I've done my bit just for a few seconds. I'm going to cut it. Juice it. I miss my bar. To be honest with you been trying to set up a bar for you to look good it doesn't work as well as when you have your own bar now i'm ready first of all what i'm going to do you all know that i like to chill my shaker okay so ice and shaker quite good quality ice this is obviously homemade and quite dry now, there you go. Now my shape is nice and cold. First thing I'm going to do is going to put a couple of teaspoons of sugar. Remember, always start with the cheapest ingredient. Then, lime juice, 25 milliliter. There you go. And the canvas, the good spirit, the rum. I choose the, the Bacardi because Bacardi, you know, the daiquiri for me was created with Bacardi. It might be wrong or right, but I like it. I think the Bacardi rum is a good quality rum to choose to do a daiquiri. First thing I'm going to do, obviously, I'm going to extract some of the water that I've built in this shape. This is amazing. I'm going to take it a little longer than normal to allow the sugar really to bond with the rum and the juice. My hand is getting colder, but it's well worth it. Now I'm going to take the Wow, look at this. It's almost frozen. Obviously, now the Florida, they make it quite in the blender. You know, if you go to Cuba and you go to the Florida, you will find that they will make the daiquiri in a blender, which is nice to do as well. Nice, it's called a frozen daiquiri. And you could use and make a frozen daiquiri in a normal way that I just showed you, or you can have some fruit. You can make a, put a banana in there and do a banana daiquiri, or strawberry, make a strawberry daiquiri. But you can't beat the classic. There we go. For garnish, I'm going to put just a, a wedge of lemon in this beautiful vintage glass. A 
Mm. Oh, wow, that's beautiful. It reminds me last year when I was in Cuba in Havana, sitting a la Floridita and having a drink with my good friend Alejandro, who is he's the bar manager there. Uh, they're not as good as these, but these are good too. Cheers. Salute. And keep safe. Oh, I wanna.